Okay, everybody, let's recap the lesson. So for today, what we talked about was really linear, linear functions. We know if it's linear, it's straight. And if it's straight, the slope will always stay the same. You're going to go up something again, up something again. So you're always going to go up the same amount, up the same amount, up the same amount, up the same amount. That's what makes it linear. Um, so we looked at this. You know, if a tree grows 3.5 inches every year, it's always going up by 3.5 inches. It must be linear. So it's going to be it's 50%, then another 50%, another 50% is decreasing, but not the same amount because you can go, for instance, like you start with 100, 50, and 25, 12 and a half, 6.25, so it's not. In fact, this one's exponential. Area square, it would be like a square being an x times an x, which that is not linear. That's actually quadratic as you get an x squared equation. But this one is linear because you could start at 14 if you graphed it and go down 9 over 1, down 9 over 1. And we also talked about if it's just a plain old x, then it has a slope and x. It's in the same form as y equals mx plus b. Equation B, no, because it has an x in the exponent. x in the exponent makes it exponential. Um, equation C, yes, it's just an x, so it's linear. You're going to go up 4 over 1, up 4 over 1. It is linear. Um, we looked at this function, and it goes up 1, up up 1, up 1, up 1. But the problem is, is you've got the x values of 1s. So you can have one t-shirt costing 3, or then 4, or then 5. This is not a function. Every x has to have one unique y. Um, but this one's unique. This one's different. This 3 has a unique y, 4 does. Even though it's always the same, that is a function. It's like saying, ah, I bought three lattes, but I get two for free. So the fourth one still costs me a dollar, and the fifth one still costs me a dollar. So we said yes to that one. Table C, we're going down by 15, down by 15, as we go up by 1, up by 1, up by 1. So that one's linear also. The rate is the same, okay? Um, graph A, it's curved, so we said no. Graph B, yes, linear, straight. And C, though it's straight, it's not a function, okay? Straight from down, it's not a function, okay? So then we moved on to the next page. There was a math here, which we did. Um, we noticed this one went down by 75 in a value of 3. So we went down 0.75 between here and here in a value of 3. So then we came up with the slope, okay? Down 75 over 3. And we got a slope of 0.25. And then to get the equation, we needed to go ahead and use our formula. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. We put our negative 2 for our x and our 5.5 for our y. We solve the equation by distributing first. Give me a negative 0.25x minus a 0 0.5 when I multiply. Then I add a 5.5, add 0.55, and this is the equation, okay? Now, what I did is I stopped there, and then I made homework be page 203 and 204. And that's all I had for today. Um, that's a recap of our lesson.